And then career growth, on the other hand, would be the advancement and progression of your career over time. So it involves climbing the, uh, the hierarchy in the organization whereby you take on, say, more responsibilities and also achieving levels of professional success. So in Morocco, professional development and career growth are very crucial components, I think, as well as in other organizations for you, for me, and for the success of Morocco. I do have a few uh, points uh, regarding professional development as well as uh, career growth. And to begin with professional development, you need to have uh, training sessions like the ones we're having now, all the ones we have on Thursdays where Molai comes in and talks to us or teaches us and is free to be asked questions. So that continuous growth is very important. Continuous learning is very important for your professional development. The other thing with professional development is uh, to improve your communication and interpersonal skills to effectively interact with uh, your colleagues, with clients. It's really, really, those soft skills are crucial for your professional development. So you need to develop leadership and teamwork skills to contribute positively to the uh, success of the organization, which helps your professional development as well. Then the other third thing is uh, to stay abreast of advancements in accounting software. For example, in Morocco, when we join here, we, uh, we start with... Uh, getting the QuickBooks, the zero, that's really, really important. But at some point, those ones will be out of date as well. So keeping aware, keeping trying to inquire, trying to know what's the latest technology, and you learn it as well. That helps your professional development. Then uh, the other one is uh, speaking to the professionals already in the organization, like Molai and others, trying to learn from them, trying to get that mentorship, yeah, is very important as well, as well as those experienced people in here to help out the young ones who are just coming up. So that mentorship and coaching can also help your professional development. And the last one about professional development is um, building networks establishing connections within Morocco, as well as in the broader community, especially in your professions. Molai sometimes talks of uh, social capital. You can only have social capital from networking. Otherwise, you are going to stay on your island, knowing what you know, and not broadening your spectrum. Okay, moving on to career growth. Um, Career growth, what are the things to consider in career growth? Performance, your performance, whatever you do, consistently delivering high quality and exceed maybe expectations. That's very important. Whatever you do, you do it to your best. You might not get whatever you want, but do it to your best and try to learn in case you've gone astray. Seek feedback. Yeah, and actively work on areas of improvement. That's really, really important because you are trying to excel, which means it leads to your growth in your career. Then the other one is, uh, I don't know whether it's, this one is very encouraged, but um, specialization. In a practice, you are expected to know almost everything. But if at all you specialize in one of the activities which are being done, say maybe you're a specialist in tax or a specialist in auditing, as well as knowing these other things. But if we are the person to go to 
in case of uh, something which is a bit complicated, that's a big one as well. Because even customers will know you and uh, you'll be referred to them. Uh, you can attract customers. Even your colleagues will be proud of you. So if at all, in whatever you know, you try to specialize in something, I think that's a good one for your uh, career growth. Then uh, the other one is uh, to do with the leadership. Try to take on leadership roles within the organization, within Morocco. Lead teams or projects. Demonstrate managerial capabilities. Don't just sit behind and say, okay, that's not for me. Let others do. Let others lead. No, if you are capable or you feel you can do it, go for it. Go for it. That's growing your career as well. Nobody's going to stop you. Then uh, the, uh, the other one is um, try to build the strong relationships with clients to enhance client retention and satisfaction. You see, when a customer is satisfied with what you do, then we are going to retain them and they are going to recommend us to their colleagues. Uh, one time I was speaking to Molai and he was saying the way he spoke to the customers, they felt wherever they had been, they were not getting the service which they are going to get from Morocco. So that was a selling point. So if we try to build client relationship management, that helps our growth as well. Then uh, last but not least is uh, try to be proactive rather than being reactive. Do something like yesterday. Don't wait for something to come in and then say, oh, but I haven't done this, I haven't done that, I'm not ready, that kind of thing. I know it takes a bit of time, but try to be proactive. And not only proactive in what you do, but also in discussing your career goals and aspirations with, with your managers to align with the firm's planning strategy, to align with the Morocco. Look at the objectives, look at the mission and the values. All that really helps your career growth because at the end of the day, it's about you. But when Morocco grows, you also grow. When you go, Morocco grows if you are still working with Morocco. So in summary, professional development and career growth in a farm of accountants like ours involves a combination of continuous learning, skill development, networking, strategic career planning. Yeah, All those do contribute to your professional development and career growth. That's my take on this uh, topic. So I welcome anybody to challenge or to add on uh, or have uh, another discussion about it. Thank you. Hi, thank you, Robert. Good morning, everyone. Hope uh, you have started a good day. Uh, I uh, so uh, what I want to talk about this uh, topic today, uh, I think I want to talk about the importance of mentorship. Uh, you know, uh, I think when when you you are you are trying to reach a professional goal, you are trying to uh, have a professional growth. It's good to seek for a good mentor to help you and guide you uh, during this process because uh, I think uh, yes, you can uh, you know find out things by research by uh, I don't know <laughs> helping uh, get help from internet and all that but I think and different books or things like that but I think there are some questions some uh, uh, some things that only a mentor that uh, uh, you know that himself uh, uh, experience these kind of things and uh, there are questions that only that mentor can uh, teach you and help you with so uh, I think uh, yeah that's really important like when, when you are and uh, in university, everyone has, I don't know, it's, in my country is like that, that everyone has a, a supervisor to, uh, you know, help, uh, help her during uh, the, um, his time in college. But uh, yeah, I think it's kind of like that because uh, 
uh, help, uh, getting guides from someone that uh, has experience, has been on that road before, uh, would really help you. And uh, uh, you can really get benefit from. And the other thing that I want to emphasize uh, is uh, the importance of uh, having uh, connections and network, uh, you know, I think uh, you have to try to build a relationship, build a community uh, uh, among the the, um, the, um, the career you are pursuing. So, you know, th those connections and uh, networks will help you, um, I think, during uh, your uh, uh, process, during your uh, career growth. And uh, I think that's why in uh, Moracle we do talk about uh, talking about things, sharing things in, in, in different communities that you have in um, your, uh, through your network. So, every, uh, you know, we can uh, have these uh, a strong connection and uh, a network and related to your uh, career and to, to your role. So, uh, you know, I think it helps you a lot because uh, I, I myself think that being in, in an environment that uh, lead you and guide you uh, to uh, achieve your goal is uh, really important. You know, sometimes you are even even uh, in um, finding friends, uh, you have to be careful because, uh, you know, some people are, will uh, uh, help you and uh, force you to go forward, but, uh, you know, some environments uh, are not like that, you know, they, you, you won't uh, mm, grow on, on those uh, environments. So, um, yeah, I think if, uh, selecting good uh, uh, friends and uh, good uh, people uh, um, around you is uh, really helpful and important. I think in, we've in lost Sepedi. Uh, okay, she's back. We had Sorry. lost you. <laughs> oh my God, I didn't understand. I was talking to myself. <laughs> so. Okay. Uh, yeah. I think we've lost her again. Uh, okay, sorry about that. Can you hear me now? Yeah, we can now, yes. Sorry, I just uh, off my camera so uh, my network will help me. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. I was uh, just wanted to uh, to emphasize on uh, selecting good friends and a good environment that uh, really can uh, help you and uh, and you know uh, help you grow. I think yeah, that's what I wanted to add. Thank you. Okay, thanks. Thank you very much, Sipidi, uh, yeah, for your contribution much. there. It's brilliant. <laughs> Mentorship, that's a key one. Uh, yeah. Important. Uh, having connections, the networks, and having the right people. You need to identify the right people who are going to push you in the right direction. Otherwise, you, um, you're you going to get lost somewhere and uh, miss out on the good thing. Thank you very much, Sipidi. Anybody else? Hi. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Sukesh. Hi. Hope you are doing well. Yes. And uh, yeah, as uh, today's topic is professional development and uh, career growth. And uh, you know, this is the part of a continu like it's a continuous process in our life. You know, without uh, professional development and uh, without career growth, we would not be like, you no, know, we would not be earning. The first of all, the motive. Uh, to work and to learn this, uh, to uh, develop this, uh, develop in a professional way, is like to earn money first initially. Uh, the thing is like, as Robert mentioned, we have uh, like a, we need good mentor and uh, we need to get updated with softwares and we need to specialize in something, and uh, we have uh, we should have we should be proactive and we should maintain strong relationship with clients. These are uh, some things which are uh, like, which we, it, it, it's a process of, it, it's a um, process I can say. Um, these are things which can contribute in professional development and 
uh, in career growth and you know i want to uh, add up few add few things so first of all is like we need to stay staying updated with the uh, industry trends i mean like you know uh, in our days like most pro mostly like we are many are using automotive things like um, what you can say uh, like we are now ai has been replaced uh, by many jobs like in before we were used doing manual jobs and now we are doing like uh, most things uh, in automatic way and so uh, like updating with the things uh, like will uh, develop your professional growth i can say and uh, will sustain your uh, career in longer way i can say and you know uh, the second thing is learning new skills like without learning new skills we will not survive in this market i would say because you know uh, like in in the past we used to learn only excel and we need to learn only uh, word ms word like and we used to do the work in that only but now we have quickbooks we have zero we have spotlight reporting and there are many softwares which we are doing the work but you know by learning these things we uh, like we would you survive we would survive in the in the market for longer term yeah so without learning skills like not only the softwares i can say there are many things lot of things now i can say uh, in oracle we have training session and you know like if we uh, with this we can improve in many ways like we a communication i can say the confidence we build in in personal in personal way i can say and yeah these are things which we need to mention yeah and uh, you know um, building a professional network as i said i said yeah um, we need to build a professional network and this could be done uh, by attending some seminars or like a uh, few meetings uh, mm. in social media i can in social media so by attending this uh, we can improve in many ways like people people who are expert in something will explain you uh, what they have, what they know and we can learn from them and we can improve and in what is the future and how is future going to be and uh, like how, what we and where we should look after 10 after 10 years like that we should uh, plan our career i can yeah plan our career and we should move forward and you know the main thing is like uh, when we develop our professional uh, and career when and when there is a career growth and uh, when there is a development in the few, uh, professional professional and uh, you know uh, we we can build our confidence i think yeah we we build our confidence and self esteem you know if, if there is no professional development and there is no uh, career growth we we will not develop we will not build our confidence also and it would affect our uh, career and we will not sustain in uh, in long term yeah thank you oh thank you very much uh, thank you very much so question quite a number of issues there i've mentioned um being proactive you say that again up to uh, be to, up to date with the industry trends uh, you want us we used to do things manually but now most stuff is automated so we need to upgrade our skills uh, try to survive in the marketplace Uh, good communication, which will lead to uh, confidence as well. Try to plan our career, because when that is done, you upgrade your self-esteem as well. Thank you very much, uh, Sukesh. Anybody else, please? Anyone is welcome. Yes. Hi. Hi, uh, Robert. Hi, everyone. So hi, I just want to, yeah, I just want to come in with a short one because, of course, I think everyone has spoken what you know the necessary things. So for me, I just want to emphasize the need to always looking forward to being better. Basically, career development and in everything you do, whether professionally or in your personal life, 
you know you should always we should always aspire to being better to doing better you know we should not settle for you know for less or for the minimum or the average you know i think for me this is just a way to say that you know even when you are doing well wherever you are okay in this case specifically let's use Morocco, even when uh, you are being appreciated, even when you are confident, knowing that you're doing the best, you know, always try to do more, always look for ways to do more, to know more, you know, just go out there, find out the new things, because you cannot know everything, yeah, and with time that keeps, you know, changing, you know, everything keeps evolving, you know, there are new trends every day, every day, there's always something new to learn, or even if it's not to learn, it could just be information or any, you know, knowledge that is out there that you, you might not know, you know, you might not be aware of. So just having that mentality, I think, is a first step, a very important attitude to have, you know, looking forward, looking always, always trying to look for, you know, uh, new ways of doing things just to improve yourself and develop yourself in general, yeah. So I think for me, that's what I would like to, to contribute to today's discussion. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much, Alit. Uh, aspire to learn more uh, because there are lots of new trends which would uh, help our development. Things are evolving, like I said, so there are lots of new ways which can help us move faster. Thank you very much for your contribution. Anyone else? Ladies and gentlemen. Mm, I don't know if there's nobody else. I don't know whether PD has any announcements. I do have a small.